Hi, welcome back. In this video, we're going to learn how to use Autodoc. Alright, so without further ado, let's get started. So we are inside of Adobe Premiere Pro right now and I'm still using the audio workspace. So if you want to do that, if you want to follow along, just click on audio at the top or click on window at the top, click on workspace, then click on audio. Now we are in the same audio workspace. So right here we have the uh, uh, sample audio here. All right, we have a music at the top and our voice over here at the bottom. All right, so if we're gonna play this, all right, as you can see, it's not kind of pleasing because the uh, the music is kind of loud and the uh, and the uh, and the voiceover is you know uh trying to it's really hard to understand because there's a lot of uh you know uh, background music all right and there's a cool feature inside adobe premiere pro named autodoc music so that we can use it you know we can do it automatically or premiere pro or premiere pro will automatically do it for us all right let's do it so right here in the essential sounds since you are in the audio workspace all right you will see this essential sounds on the right side all right if you cannot see that make sure you go to window at the top and look and look for essential sounds all right make sure there's a check on it all right if there's a check you're good to go right here all right so if you click on this essential sounds you will see this is dialogue music as effects and ambience all right so so what you need to do uh you're gonna select an audio first on our timeline let's say these are audio right so these are audio we can select this dialogue all right so let's click on that now we already, uh, this audio now is on the dialogue, all right? So we have a presets here. So, um, you know, there's a lot of things here. Clean up noisy dialogue. It's a, it's a, it's a cool uh, preset for me that I can use, right? All right, click on that, all right? And then for the loudness, you can click on auto match, all right? For repair, there's some reduce noise here, reduce rumble, uh, dehum, all right? And uh, there's a lot of settings that you can uh, choose. And the clip volume, all right? Clip volume here, all right, that you can change, all right. And what else? All right. We have repair here, all right. I think that's it. So that's our um audio now is on the dialogue, all right. Cool. Now let's go ahead and click on this. This is our music, by the way, all right. So our music or background music in here. So what I'm going to do in the essential sounds is I'm going to choose it music, all right. So with the music here. All right, preset. All right, we can change the uh, preset if you want. So balance, background music, duck against everything, hard vocal ducking, smooth vocal ducking. I'm going to choose balance, background music. All right. And again, you have the loudness, uh, you know, these options. All right. So I'm on the automatic right now. Okay. And then let's click on ducking here. All right, we're good. All right, I think we're good. So let's try to uh, play these sounds. All right, let's try to uh, change this or let's cut this. All right, and then I'll remove, I'll move it here. Sorry, I'll move it here on the right. All right, so that we can see. These are voice over here, right here. All right, and we have the uh, music, uh, background music in here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click on this uh, music background. All right, I'm gonna auto dock this music in our audio. So what we are going to do is we're going to use this ducking here, all right, so that uh, ducking in our music, all right, so that every time there's a, a voice over, all right, we can hear the voice over in that piece, background music. So the background music will tone down a little bit so that we can hear these voice over, you know, space so that, we, so that we can understand what he's trying to say, all right. So to do that, make sure that you highlight or click on the music background and then on the ducking all right so now as you can see the ducking is not highlighted why because there's a box here that's missing <laughs> that is hidden all right so i'm gonna just uh, drag this a little bit here all right and then you will see this actually in your computer you will see this because i'm just using this computer to record in the big big screen at 720p that's why uh some of the buttons is missing <laughs> um you know for you to see it you know big enough on the screen so that you could understand it all right all right, so by the way, in the ducking, all we have to do is to click on the check mark on it. So the ducking is enabled now, and these options are enabled too. All right, we can, uh, there, these options, we can change the option now right here. So duck against, all right? So this music, I want to, this music to duck against the audio or the dialogue, as, as we may say, all right? So if that is the case, I'm going to choose the duck against 
duck against dialog clips all right i'm gonna click on that blue means enable sensitivity all right you can do sensitivity of uh, 10 or sensitivity of zero all right uh right here in the middle that's fine or maybe a little bit uh you know uh, higher all right duck amount so we have these 18 db and you know you can change this uh you know whatever you prefer but basically that's it all right so, so our music will duck now in our audio now what what is this duck against audio as you remember when you click in this audio all right you, ch you choose the you choose this as, as a dialogue before right so right uh, when you choose this and you go to essential panel you change these uh two dialogues so that premiere pro will uh, detect that this music or this audio is a dialogue for you and this is what we duck to this music okay now once you already done with the setup of the sensitivity duck amount and fades all of those settings just scroll down here under ducking you'll see here um, a button here says generate keyframes all right all you had to do is to click and generate keyframes wait for it and then um, adobe premiere pro will automatically generate the keyframes for you to adjust those um audio all right as you notice in our timeline keyframes is auto generated let's try to zoom in all right so that you can see this dots right here is the keyframes that was adjusted or created uh by adobe premiere for you uh, automatically because we just generate keyframes now we'll when we play this let's try to play All right, as you can see, all right, as you can see, the uh, the audio, uh, the the background music adjusted when there is a dialogue right here. So every time that there's a dialogue, let's minimize this. As you can see, the uh, keyframes right there. So every time there's a every time the music will detect a dialogue underneath. All right, it will automatically generate a keyframe to lower it down so that the audio. The dialogue will pop up in the in the music all right will arise and so that we could so that we can hear the audio or so that we can hear the voice over all right so basically that's how you auto dock music all right so again so to auto dock music just uh click on this click on uh make sure that you click select this as a music and then you scroll down make sure that there's a ducking there's a check on it and then uh duck against the uh, dialogue all right make sure this dialogue or this voice over selected as dialogue all right and then once you go to the music section essential sounds dialogue right here you can change this uh you know these settings and then make sure after you change the settings click on generate keyframes those keyframes and effects will automatically apply to your music so that he or th that music will be adjusted accordingly if there's uh, every time there's a dialogue uh, it will automatically adjust those keyframes to decrease the volume so that we can hear the audio uh, and not you know interfere with our background music all right so basically that's how you use auto dock music thank you so much for watching and see you in the next video